did you make it out there? I don't know. You were just a trooper. What? You, you just did what you had to do. You did what you had to do. Fostering is really important to giving dogs that have maybe never had a home environment or haven't had a good home environment that experience so that they can grow and thrive into a dog that's well adjusted, ready for a permanent home. They learn so much just by being around people in a home. You can give them training, you can socialize them, it's, it's a lot easier to give them exercise. They're not confined like they would be in a shelter or you know getting out maybe twice a day you're able to really make a difference with them one-on-one -on -one. and in homes where there's also other dogs maybe or other pets they get used to having that pack mentality I mean dogs are pack animals anyway but they get used to feeling like they're protected and secure and getting the basic needs met I mean that's really all dogs need they just need love and and a great place to grow and feel secure and so fosters are really crucial because they fill that link between you know this dog needs a little more work it maybe needs you know some basic training or some manners or just needs to get healthier maybe they um, maybe they, they've got some health issues that just need to be cleared up but the fosters give them that and that's what really gets them ready to be healthy and uh, and ready to go to a permanent home and to do well there so it's like the important link between you know a dog that needs a home and a dog that gets a home is that it's that fostering middle part and so anybody who's fostering is is like contributing that you know that crucial middle part that really gives a dog a, a, a fighting chance to be you know successful in a permanent home it's great I mean and you get so much out of it I mean it's not just for the dog's benefit the foster learns a lot from every dog and they you know they they have another dog to love that's really it's so rewarding so it's a great experience and and what's what's great about fostering is that it's always I mean it's always temporary so you're you're rehoming dogs you're giving them a chance to kind of move into the next phase you get support from the group you're working with but you're also giving a, ch a you know a chance to a dog that wouldn't otherwise have it so it's it's really wonderful well, Coco was found um, as a stray uh, last year around this time um, very cold snap in Austin she was stumbling along kind of limping along in East Austin and someone uh, who was a member of Lovable found her and knew that she needed help and so she contacted us and said I've got this dog I really need her you know looked at she's got some she's got something wrong with her leg so I said okay great we'll help you out let's um, let's go get some x-rays let's get some you know get a vet looking at her and we found out that Coco had some old injuries, some old um, bone fractures, and her hip was out of place, and she was extremely emaciated and just covered in fleas and had just had a litter of puppies, you name it. This, this, this kid had everything. So, uh, but we knew that she wanted to be happy and healthy and in a home again, she, and she was just such a love. She's just such a cuddler and a lover, even despite the fact that she was just in a lot of physical pain and had a lot of, a lot of physical issues going on. Um, so we took her to Animal Trustees of Austin. They, they did a hip surgery on her, um, but she's got some sustained nerve damage in her leg. Probably, we think these are, these are injuries from maybe getting hit by a car. Her leg um, and her foot don't place right, so she kind of walks on her knuckle because of this nerve damage. Um, it doesn't really slow her down a whole lot. She's still really active, it's, and it doesn't, it's not painful for her. She doesn't, she doesn't, it doesn't really bother her. She, she will not ever be a, a super active dog, but she does love to play. She loves to go for walks. She's got a special brace that she wears. She has really grown and blossomed. I've had her for a year in foster, um, and in that time, she's really gotten stronger. She's gotten more confident. She's gotten healthier. She's gotten well, you know, adjusted to being living with another dog. She's still a little bit selective around some dogs, but um, I think with the right dynamic, she would just do great. And she really wants to please people. That's that's all she wants is just to be near someone, getting attention, getting pets. Um, she will be your go-to couch potato girl for the end till the end of time. She's just super excited about being near people. She'd be a great therapy dog. I think she'd be great around kids. Um, and those are qualities that you don't find every day in dogs. So I think she really um, is one of those cases where um, we we were lucky to find her. She was lucky. We were lucky. Uh, but she would be great in someone's home permanently. She adds so much to someone's life. She's added a lot to mine and I know that you know given the right place that she she 
would just be happy as a clam. Yeah, I'm hoping that we can find her a permanent home. Thank you.